This is a study of three centers in Istanbul. We combined our mm, data for this uh, end. Uh, chronic myeloid leukemia, CML, uh, it was once an uh, invariably fatal disease, but uh, in the last 10 to 15 years, uh, with the appearance of uh, the first tyrosine kinase inhibitor, imatinib, uh, the revolutionized uh, therapy, and now it has become a really chronic disease. Uh, after the uh, time point for uh, 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 generics appear in the arena, uh, we, there were concerns about the efficacy of these generics, uh, safety uh, and toxicity profile of these. And in Turkey, uh, the f first uh, generic was approved in August uh, 2012. Uh, and at that point, uh, although we had some rumors and we had, of course, some concerns about this change, uh, the choice was left to the patient. Uh, the health authority and the reimbursement uh, agency uh, wanted the patient to decide if uh, he, he or she wants to uh, continue or start with uh, the uh, Gleevec. Uh, they had to pay the price difference uh, to the generic. So, uh, there is a potential of cost saving with the use of generics, uh, but this, these concerns were uh, prevalent, and this uh, wasn't, wasn't an intentional study. It was a natural experiment in a way. Uh, so people chose when, of course, they asked the questions. Uh, we tried to be as objective, as neutral as possible. Uh, but anyway, uh, some people couldn't afford the price difference. Some, for uh, this or other reason, uh, continued or choose, uh, chose uh, Gleevec, let's say. Uh, so from August 2012 up to December uh, 2013, in that 16 to 17 month period, we had uh, 60, 26 patients uh, who started on a generic imatinib. Uh, to compare uh, this cohort, uh, we went down to January 2010 and picked up uh, all the patients who received uh, Gleevec uh, and followed uh, these two cohorts and tried to compare. Uh, in the end, there were differences between these two cohorts, the one being statistically significant, only the length of follow-up. Of course, the uh, Gleevec patients uh, had longer follow-up. But the rest, par rest of the parameters, including gender, uh, age, and uh, number of patients who achieved cyt complete cytogenetic remission at six months or, or a major molecular response at six months. So there were no statistically significant differences among the more important parameters. And during this, under this treatment, some patients uh, are resistant or lose their responses and uh, they change to uh, the second generation TKIs, uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors. And uh, the proportion of patients were, are sh shown here, 11 and 15 percent, but uh, again, the, there was no statistically significant difference between. And uh, coding, uh, regarding the safety issues, let's say, the hematological and non-hematological toxicity were comparable between these two cohorts. And uh, no patient in either cohort had to stop uh, imatinib generic or the original molecule, but uh, 
12 to 14 percent uh, in uh, the two cohort uh, had we had to uh, go down to 300 milligrams uh, as opposed to the 400 milligram per day uh, of the drug. Uh, the current prices of TKIs are high and there is sometimes an uh, expressed uh, hope from the generic formulations along with the uh, suspicions and the concerns uh, and in the literature, uh, when we tried to write down our results, there were conflicting results and uh, from South America, Middle East and uh, Asia. Uh, but in our uh, study, let's say, we didn't come up to a uh, negative result, at least the generics were at least non-inferior, if not better, <laughs> uh, than the original molecule. Uh, and the difference, the price difference is uh, around, there are three brands uh, of generics in Turkey at the moment. Uh, approximately there's a hundred euro difference at each pack, which is uh, 30 tablets, which is uh, the therapy for one month, and it makes uh, around uh, 12 million euros per 10,000 patients per year. But uh, it's our experience in, our Tur in Turkey with our products uh, s since generics are, do not need to uh, prove themselves as the original uh, molecules. It, there may be differences between the active ingredients, the uh, other necessary uh, ingredients making up the, uh, the drug. So uh, this was our experience. Thank you. Thank you very much for this interesting uh, communication, which is open for discussion now. Yes, please. First, was this study supported by Novartis? No, we have. Okay. We don't have. <laughs> um, and secondly, I thought I thought generics are supposed to be bioequivalent to the original molecule. So, I, you just sort of touched on maybe it's the the compounding components, but why would there be a difference between a generic and the original? The formulation, it's a tablet or other form, starting with. Uh, well, aren't the formulations equivalent or bioequivalent? I thought that was the definition of a generic. Yes, but uh, uh, other, maybe the uh, production, quality of the production, let's say, uh, it's uh, always the same amount. It's not controlled as uh, the original molecule. They don't have to uh, prove themselves in those the studies, post-marketing studies, they uh, come up in the arena and they are bioequivalent. But uh, a lot of uh, reports say they had they started on generics, but they had to change, go back to the uh, original molecule. Let's say that was the concern, but we didn't see such a result in our cohort. So one can conclude then that not all TKIs are equal? Uh, I guess so. Yes, please. Can you take the microphone, please? But, uh, you're speaking about Turkey. Is it the same in Europe? Can't we, can't we be sure that a generic is exactly the same mo active molecule as the original? Isn't that controlled by the... Uh, authorities that it's the same molecule. You want to comment on that? It is. I, I, I also ask you, but mm -hmm. it is supposed to be, but uh, they aren't under that strict control. Of course, they have to uh, get the license and continue with that. They have to provide some uh, proof, but not as strict as. 
So you think you need a further a randomized trial before you put all patients in Turkey on the generic compound? Of course, that's the plea of the, all the studies, and, but I, I'm not sure if anyone will, that, will do that randomized trial. So what is your plan then, to offer all patients the generic compounds? In no, we still are at the same position. We say there are options. Mm -hmm. At the moment, uh, the health authority has approved the generic formulations. The other one has a record, literature record, and uh, it's the one you have to choose. At the moment, we don't have data to tell which is better or which is worse.